So you're going about your day and thinking, wow, I'm doing everything I can so that my body feels better, right? Hi, I'm Philip, and this is a little bit about something that's important, chronic pain, okay? So I help people with chronic pain with massage and coaching, and I have to dive into a lot of material because everyone's pain is a little different. And this is a very specific topic that I've talked about here and there in some of my posts, but I want to spend a little bit more time talking about it. And it's about sleep. If your sleep is not as high in quality, you might have more pain than you would have if your sleep was better. Now, it's not a cookie cutter saying like, no sleep, you're, you're done for. Uh, no, it's a little bit more complicated. Like in every chronic pain situation, there might be some other things at play. But check it out. If you do have a little bit of issue with your sleep and you didn't connect it with pain now is a good time you think about okay how can i strategize to improve my sleep going to bed um, later if i'm not tired enough and getting up early so that i get fatigued eventually on that rhythm so that i can get up and see the sun early in the morning maybe get my phone away you throw it in the backyard so that you have to go get it later maybe don't do that but uh, if you spend the first bit of the day to just wake up, refresh, and spend your whole day looking forward to going to bed and strategize on how to have seven, eight hours of sleep on average, if you're um, a teen and above, then that's a good amount of time. Well, maybe a little older than a teen. Um, they still need a little bit more sleep. You need more sleep as you're young and a bit less as you're older. But even if you pass, I think it's about uh, 50 or 60, you still need a good amount of sleep. Like six, seven hours uh, is a good amount of sleep. So think about that. Like if you have no problem with sleep whatsoever, you can always check in and ask how you can unwind during the day. Sometimes it's just about cleaning, uh, closing your eyes for a minute. That helps rest because the sensory information from the eye, the visual information are posed and that helped uh, pause and that helped uh, for the, uh, the brain to take a little break. All right, check it out. Let's say you had pain, you have not worked on sleep before. This is it. This is your moment to give yourself a, a little bit of time to work on it. Let's say a month or two, even a year. If you overcome that hurdle and you spend good use of your time while sleeping, I think that would be very useful. Now check if it helps with your chronic pain, because if it does, that was maybe that easy. There might be some other thing that don't work. So if you still feel some benefit from it, do not throw the baby with the bathwater, okay? Just make sure that you improve your sleep, get a good day and, and check in to see if there's a correlation for you between uh, sleep and chronic pain. Hope this helps. Once again, this is all about chronic pain and how to get from pain to movement. And if you like what you've seen, uh, just follow me, get more information, ask questions, interact with me. I get on your subject and you get the information you need. I hope that was useful and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.